We are watching lowrider fails today. We're joined by real lowrider mechanics who are gonna break down what went wrong in these videos. First clip. Uh-oh. Oh. That sucks. It's like you get a cramp. <laughs> yeah, he busted that ball joint. That's a typical lowrider stance, popping it up like that. The A-arm folded over, spring shot out, all worst case scenarios right there. What's the repair bill looking like on something like this? Four Gs to like eight grand, Ooh. it depends. You wanna know the thing about low riding? This happens all the time. They say low riding's a rich man's sport. It yeah. really is because you break out a thousand every time I break that out and, it, and it's typical. And this guy probably fixed it right there on the side of the street and rolled it home. It's part of the game. Floyd, you are a legend in the California car scene, but these videos are seen all around the world. So why don't you tell these people who you are and where they can find you? Everybody calls me Long Beach Lloyd on the streets. I build low riders, I buy low riders, I flip low riders. I like everything car. What's up everybody? Nice to meet everybody. My name is Sandro. You guys can follow me in Miranda shop on Instagram. I've been working on cars my whole life. Bro, trust me, I do everything. Next clip. Nice, nice. There uh -oh. you go. Ooh, uh, stop, stop. No, stop, no, stop, no, buddy. No, no, no. Nope, that's right. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, you see all the props that we got? That was beautiful. Back in the days, they used to crash each other. They hop and then they land on each other's car. It looks to every people that don't know, like, oh my God, the guy just flipped his car. He made a mistake, but he actually just did that straight on purpose. It's kind of like his statement, like throw it in the gutter, go buy another. You see those extended arms? Yeah, yeah. They were doing it to press it all the way back. Like They're like, let's go all the way. I love it. All the way. That's <laughs> Wow, that's a competition. That's how you see all those people right there. That, that was a car meant to show off how good they do a setup. What they try to do is try to get the back as high as they can. Okay. You want it like this high. Whoa. So when it bounces, it hits, it'll alternate like that. To me, sometimes it sounds crazy. Like you're gonna f up a Regal, a Cutlass, an Impala, but for some people, they love it. I mean, they'll probably like bang it up again and ride it again. They'll put a $100,000 car out there and bang it, bang it, bang it until it just completely falls apart. Bumpers are flying, headlights are flying, seats are just banging back and forth. Nothing can be good in there. It's just part of the lowrider lifestyle. It's gotta like affect the market. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it definitely does. Next clip. I don't break like that. Look at the wheel. It's not supposed to be like that, cut. Now that's gonna be fun to fix. How you feel about your car, bro? A lot of the stuff looks stock, not the cleanest builder. It just looked like it had a bit of rust to it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? For it to yeah. snap that clean, the guy just didn't properly get the car ready for low riding. You have to reinforce, the cars aren't made to jump. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is as simple as that. No car is made for it. You have to have the upgraded uppers and lowers. You, you have to. It's the dog bones, the bolts, everything all included. You can't just get a few pieces of it. I mean, look how dirty his arm yeah. is in the first place. That just throw that car in the trash. This is like amateur hour. Yeah, definitely yeah. amateur hour. Saw the sparkles you dropped on that paint, bro. Sparkle a little bit on that <laughs> suspension. <laughs> <laughs> and he was just waiting to break that. That's why he was covering his face. Ah, he was ashamed. It. Oh, Suzuki Samurai. Oh yeah. Henry. Okay, yeah, he's, so this can happen. He's burning solenoids and he's just keep going anyways. Yeah. This guy's another one. Usually you stop when you see that and put it out. Um, mm -hmm. Motor's on fire. That can happen for many reasons. Mm -hmm. That can happen because you're over hopping it because they get hot. If you have a low battery, you blow a solenoid. And as soon as you blow a solenoid, boom, the fires come. Solenoid is an electromagnetic valve. So use electricity to open a valve really fast and close a valve really fast so you can control the flow of hydraulic fluid. He knows that it's gonna catch on fire probably, yeah. but he don't care. He doesn't he even f***ing stop and he's like, burn. What's the plan once it catches on fire? Grab the quick disconnect, disconnect it so it just kills all the power to it. Spark stop after that but because you killed the current, obviously. Mm -hmm. But the fires usually can rage on and continue. So throw your shirt on it, hit it with the water bottles and some guy will run up. I personally carry a fire extinguisher just in case. I got a homeboy that was on fire and he actually reached out and grabbed it because he's like, either that Cadillac catches on fire or my hand gets toasted. That's how much love 
yeah. he had for that Cadillac. Yeah. Me, I would have been like, whoa. <laughs> All right, let's watch our next clip here. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> Dude. It looked like he just blew a hose and both of his strokes blew through his back window. That's a Lincoln right there. That bad boy is originally, like, his metal's kind of flimsy. It's not that strong, so it's not going to take all that, mm -hmm. all that bouncing. So right there's probably wear and tear. You don't even know how many times this guy's hopped that yeah. So he's probably just begging for it to break at that point. Yeah. What modifications do you need to make for the car to survive hopping? On most uh, chassis, you reinforce them. So you put more metal on plates, reinforcing the actual frame itself. Mm -hmm. And they also do it on the body too. And also the lower control arms, upper okay. control arms. You add more metal, the reason so like that, when it's hopping, it doesn't break as fast. Mm -hmm. I feel bad for him, but not yeah. really. That was kind of fun. Yeah, breaking stuff's fun. Let's f him up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next clip. Hell yeah. Ooh. Oh. Something on the rear end snap, but it's still holding on there. Look at yeah. that. Everybody's happy as f They're like a fucking bonfire. Like, yeah. <laughs> Yo, they did. Yeah, broke the trailing arm. This would be your trailing arm for mm -hmm. this. And there are just two bolts here, right here at the frame. And it looks like hers probably broke right here. It probably just busted a bolt, but that could get very dangerous. These guys over here are lucky. They and didn't then, even move. They didn't even move. <laughs> it looks like they're holding that shit, Like, oh, look, we got you. If you're at like a low rider meet, how, how likely is it that one of the cars is gonna break like this? You're wishing for that motherfucker to break. <laughs> If you're ever at a lowrider show and you're in the crowd, back up. The cars, they walk forward, they walk backwards, they go side, you know, if you see some of them go sideways, it does happen all the time. All right, so the people in this next clip found themselves in a similar situation to the previous one. Let's see how they handled it. Uh. <laughs> yeah, you gotta go, ooh. Oh, no! They did not handle it at well at all. <laughs> we almost had it. How is it? Things we went, almost had it down right. From bad to worse on that one. Oh my god. So they're like bound, they're sort of balancing it. They have no leverage because they're on the back of the car. I think they were just trying to roll it over. Or, or if they weren't, I mean, whoever was holding that <laughs> ratchet strap, <laughs> pulling to the other side by itself, I mean, bro. They were in a hop off. A lot of people put weight. They get stuck up Got like it. that. Well, they not only did they get stuck, they also looked like they busted uh, their trailing arm as well. And uh, they did not do a good job of recovering it. A few modelos and you know, here we are. Geometry goes <laughs> right out the window. Yeah. But if you're trying to roll it over, you also did an amazing job. They, yeah, they also did everything they needed mm -hmm. to roll it over. Yeah, yeah. In the words of John Wick, next clip. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. While driving, stop sign. Stop sign. Oh, the stop sign stopped you. <laughs> nice. The problem here was user error. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, when you get up that high, you cannot see the road in front of you. And you don't even need to get up that high to not see the road in front of you. So I know all he was seeing was clouds. Faded over and landed onto the stop sign, which that is a very, very well built. Someone needs to give that guy a, a raise. He really did a good job. The balls that that stop sign has. <laughs> he saw that fool rolling up and he's like, I'm going to stop you no matter what. <laughs> Watch. How easy is it to lose control while hopping? The camber wear on those cars are amazing. The tires are like this. Can you even f steer? No. No. There's no way to control that. Moving on. The door's gonna slap him in his face. Please, 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 please. Oh, sh. <laughs> <laughs> Rookie move right there. Yeah. He probably just got the car trying to mm -hmm. learn the hydraulics in the driveway and learn real quick. <laughs> My dude was having a f rough morning. Hey, look how he looks at it like Fuck sideways. Like, you catch a fade with you, little door. <laughs> you, you got me off guard. Look at him staring at the door like, what? What? Used low riders. Big risk or what? I think you got to go look at it, see the welds see whatever parts you put in. A lot of people could say, hey, you know what? This famous guy that's been doing so many low rares did this mm -hmm. It costs so much. You get the same work from just somebody that loves mm -hmm. cars. Mm -hmm. All right, next clip. 
Ah, I know these dudes. Oh, yeah. 804 dip and I was wearing his shirt yesterday. What up, baby? So there's nothing wrong with his cars. He's just showing out and showing everybody how it should be done. That's nice. That's sexy. Oh, that's sexy. Yeah. That is the longest, best drag that I've probably ever seen in the history of low riding. Not only is he getting full both sparks, which some people are just getting one, and they don't do it for that long. He's staying on there basically using the whole block for one ride. I actually know this man and I actually want mine to do that. Are there any uh, mods people make to intentionally make more sparks? Yeah, yeah, you do. You actually weld like plates on the bottom. A literal block of metal. If you want blue sparks, you go titanium and you want orange or yellow. You want steel. It looks really cool, especially at night. Everybody's on each side of the bro Broadway and you're coming down the middle dragging. It's just yeah. shooting there. It looks. It looks sick. Your car has to lower low enough to hit the drag block. Some mm -hmm. people don't have it set up that way. He has his rear end set up perfectly for the drag blocks. He was doing 50 miles an hour and he dropped it and dragged it down the street. Yeah. Most of the guys do it 20, 30. Yeah. This guy's really dipping that. I mean, anything worth doing is worth doing well and he's doing it perfect. I'm just like, the magnificence. You know? Yeah, it looks tight, it looks tight. Yeah. Is this a big wildfire risk, you think? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this next clip features some people putting themselves in harm's way so that low riders don't get scuffed. Sounds sketchy. Let's check it out. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. That was even in the middle. <laughs> Look at that spike. You see that? I know. That, that's that, what I'm thinking about. It's like all that those little sharp has, things on. Yeah, that Chevy has those like like those bullet spikes in the front. Yeah. Oh my god, that shit can penetrate you. Yeah. And you'll be chilling. What? That's my old car, that red and white one. Oh, really? Yeah, I sold it to my buddy Phil in Streetwise, and that's his club president, Cracker, hitting his car right there. They're at a Streetwise car club, and then that's just Phil's buddy. That's a real down-ass homeboy. I hope you bought him dinner, throwing yeah. his body <laughs> in the way. And he did prevent a lot of damage. If you see it's getting out of control, like, you, you slow down, but some people, like, they're vibing it, the screams, and people are like, yeah, yeah, it's almost up there, it's almost up there, and you keep going, and then guess what? It happens, so yeah. it's like, put all the to the side. You guys know what you guys are doing there. You know homeboys hopping the car. You know everybody else is having a good time. The correct political thing to do would be if you damage somebody's property, you replace that. Cracker took that car all the way back to Vegas, fixed it for him. He was just posting pictures about it the other day. Yay! It may seem crazy that people put themselves in harm's way to prevent a car from getting dinged. It's not that hard to understand when you see some of the custom work that goes into these vehicles. So let's take a look at a lowrider that you might not want to bounce, but also you probably do because that's what it was made for. Oh my God. Whoa, wow. I'm just imagining like. Trophy car. Yeah. Wow, you wouldn't want to bounce like that at all. You need the control on. Speedy, I know this car too. Yeah, this dude too. That car is named the Penitentiary. That car will actually back bumper. Oh yeah? Stand that car straight up. That guy Speedy has a collection of cars. Speedy Metal Finishing in his car club is high class. He has every part on stacks backed up. Really? Parts you can't find. Oh, he's a man. When you can't find parts, you go to Speedy. That's yeah, and for like, that. for old cars, cheap. finding parts is like, impossible so for someone like local to you to have a bunch of parts just like available like the idea of going somewhere and being like i'll buy that so i can put it on my car today yeah is like so foreign to he, most people he's not cheap but it is definitely the equivalent of a man's willy wonka chocolate factory yeah. for low riders. oh i swear to you. the only thing you fucked up on i'm sorry to say but that bolt on that bumper it's gotta be gold it should have been gold yeah i'm just saying i just want to talk a little bit so. <laughs> <laughs> up on that boat, bro. <laughs> Special thanks to Lindsay at Pacific Coast Hobbies for letting us borrow this little tiny Impala. They're located in Lomita. If you're in the area or you want like some tiny stuff, go check them out. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you like what we're doing here and check out realmechanicstuff.com if you want to be a guest mechanic on this show. Thanks for having me, man. It's been a pleasure. You guys hit me up on my YouTube. It's Lowriders and Lloyd. I'm around this shop on Instagram. Love you guys. This has been Real Mechanic Stuff. Keep hopping that. Hell yeah.